Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. All righty, 847, 37 outside our studios. Let's check in with uh, Bristol Community College President Laura Douglas on this Monday. And we're talking higher education, the Higher Education Innovation Fund. Laura, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you, Heck? I'm doing well. How was your weekend? Mine was fantastic. We spent it in Boston. How about you? Were you local? Uh, I stayed local, yeah, pretty much, yeah. So you had a good time. But did, did you go to the Red Sox? Is that it? No, probably. No. no. <laughs> Went to celebrate a friend's birthday. Oh, so good. That's, well. all, that's all good. But we were cheering with all the people who were walking by in their Red Sox gear. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. <laughs> so tell us a bit about this uh, innovation fund. Yeah, so the Department of Higher Education has an innovation fund, and every year we're able to apply for grant monies. And uh, this past year, uh, Bristol Community College and the Connect Consortium, that's the group of public uh, higher education institutions in southeastern Massachusetts, um, we applied for a special grant, uh, and we received 150000 for professional development uh, related to equity and developing our employees' core equity comp uh, competencies and knowledge. So uh, it's a way for us to learn more about racial equity, social justice, and the various barriers that impact student success. So five of us, five of us uh, uh, within this area are working together. It's a great cost savings for all of us, uh, developing the curriculum uh, to make sure that we really do a better job uh, being more inclusive uh, for all of our students and to make sure that we are welcoming institutions and where our students, uh, especially our black, indigenous, people of color or BIPOC populations, uh, have the same chance for great outcomes as everybody else. That's great. That's an excellent program. Give us a little bit more how you think this proposal will support the Department of Higher Education's uh, strategic plan for, for racial equality and, and then the Bristol Community College's uh, mission. How does that all kind of blend? Yeah, well, that's a great question. So last year, uh, the Department of Higher Education developed a strategic plan for racial equity. And uh, really, it's about establishing the right infrastructure to drive the racial, racial equity because we don't have particularly great outcomes in Massachusetts for our students of color. Um, so we're trying to transform our cultures, increase access, uh, make sure that our curriculum is culturally relevant and and uh, is engaging for students of color uh, and make sure that we really change the outcomes in terms of graduation rates and retention rates. And last summer, we were able to align the Department of Higher Ed's strategic plan for racial equity along with our own strategic plan and then also with Connect. Connect, uh, I chair actually that consortium. Uh, I'm the CEO chair. And we aligned our own strategic plan for Connect uh, with that plan so that we can all be working, kind of rowing it in the same direction, right? You need to all make sure that we move in the same direction in order to have the biggest bang for, for the buck. So uh, we have, uh, as part of our mission, uh, we certainly want to um, make sure that uh, we are uh, inclusive in, uh, in providing all of our students with great opportunities, and we want to break down barriers for, for uh, any member of our community, especially those who have been uh, traditionally underserved. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of uh, very important work, uh, and we've been so lucky at Bristol Community College to be working on this for quite some time, um, and to see our uh, BIPOC, that's Black, Indigenous, People of Color population trending upward. So, from 2019, we were 27 percent, and now we're, uh, last fall, we were at 32 percent, uh, and we continue to make great strides. Even this spring, we had, we saw a healthy increase. So we're working really hard to make sure that uh, every student knows that Bristol Community College is a welcoming place, and then they have opportunities to transfer to our other public institutions. All right. Well, that's a, those are great gains, and congratulations on, uh, on getting that done. That's important stuff, obviously. Thank you. Uh, 
All right. So if folks want more info about the Higher Education Innovation Fund, I suppose they could just go to the website. There's got to be something there, right? Yep. They can, uh, you can go to our website, to, uh, which is www.bristolcc.edu, to see our strategic plan. But then you can also Google Massachusetts Department of Higher Education Strategic Plan for Racial Equity and uh, learn more about all the, the different services um, that we have at the college as well, like our Multicultural Student Center, our Women's Center, our Student and Family Engagement. We have lots of different places for support. Excellent, excellent stuff. Stuff. Good. All right, Laura, thank you. Appreciate the visit as always. And you have a great month of April, and we'll check in with you the beginning of May. All right. Happy spring. Thank you. You take care.